Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my new video which will be on uh, using while loop in PowerShell. So uh, let's start. Yeah, but uh, before that let me introduce myself. My name is Satish Sharma and I am a consultant in an MNC. Okay, and uh, sharing uh, my knowledge with audiences like you is uh, my passion. Okay. Um, and I will be very happy that it um, motivates you to learn PowerShell. So let's start. So uh, friends, till now I have discussed uh, for loop for each loop as well. And uh, this is one of the uh, other loops uh, and uh, one of the most important loops um, that is uh, while loop. Uh, in for loop or in for each loop, you know, you you know that how many iterations will be there, okay? But uh, there may be uh, conditions that you don't know that after how many iterations you have to stop, okay? Or after how many iterations the exit condition will be there, okay? So there may be uh, some scenarios. So, so where uh, you have to, uh, you know, um, decide Means it, it will not be in your hand to decide that when you have to exit but there should be some condition but you will never know that when that condition after how many loops that condition will come or after how many iterations that condition will come so in that case we use while loop okay so uh, let me show you for example uh, first this is the format okay format of the while loop here we have to write while and uh, it is a uh, is not case sensitive okay and uh, here uh, this between these uh, bracket uh, braces you have to give the uh, exit condition okay and, and uh, till the exit condition is reached this loop will continue to run okay so uh, first of all let us define that uh, this loop should uh, run until unless the value of i is 10 okay and uh, let us uh, let us display each of let us display some uh, anything I mean, so let us display something uh, so that we will know that loop is running so i am going to display this that uh, total number of iterations so let this iteration be this and let's let us and let us introduce a uh, command let start sleep which uh, will introduce a delay of one second here, okay and this is one of the basic commands which all of us should know okay and if you want to know uh, about the basic commands which powershell uh, people should know or powershell enthusiasts should know then uh, i have uh, a video for that and uh, you can go back to that video okay or you can click here on the i button and that uh, i button will take you to that powershell basics commandlet video and uh, and you will enjoy that you'll come to know that what are the basic uh, commandlets or simulates you should know okay. so let's start and uh, since um, this is a variable then the, we should actually okay sorry we should increment this variable okay and since we are using uh, this variable for the first time okay so let's see what happens when if i run this loop you can see that this loop is started from uh, zero and uh, it will run until unless the i is less than or equal to 10 okay so you see here that uh, uh, when the value of i is equal to 10 it has exited but you know uh, this is also a kind of for loop only this is because here we have defined that it should be less than 10 okay so this is not a good example so let me uh, give you a good example okay which will help you in understanding or which will help in understanding where you should use this loop okay so let's use a second example before that let me uh, means what i am going to do is i will be creating a text file means i will be uh, 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 making a text file okay and 
I will set condition that uh, till the time the text file is empty, that is till the time nothing is written on that file, the loop should run. Okay, and once that text file has something inside it, means if I write anything uh, on that text file, then the loop should exit. Okay, so uh, um, so this will be a good example on uh, while loop because this above example is not a good example because we already know that it's uh, a loop will exit on uh, when this uh, value will be uh, either uh, uh, 10 or greater than 10 so here you can see so let's let's create a so um, how you will know that mm, the contents of a loop sorry of a text file um, i have uh, uh, you know uh, uh, this is a command that which will uh, help you or which will give you the contents of a text file so um, means every uh, power uh, PowerShell answer you should know. So I will recommend you, you go to the basic commands video and then you will find uh, useful commands like that. So uh, see that I have uh, created a um, text file. Let me save it on the uh, desktop. Let me change this name. Okay, let it be test one. Okay, so we have created this file. Uh, test one okay and now let us uh, let us go to the uh, desktop and let's copy the address from here okay so this is the address okay and uh, this is the address of this test one uh, right now you can see that uh, this file is empty okay there is no content here okay and uh, let us store this thing in a variable okay um, so this is one of the variables here and now what we have to do is we have to check okay uh, let me show you if what happens if i write something here suppose i write something here and i save it okay now let's see what happens now you will be able to see okay this thing it is displaying this thing okay so let me rub it first Now, um, let us uh, uh, create the or uh, let us uh, go to the while loop and let us check. Let us um, uh, let us put this condition that dollar content till the time dollar content is equal to null. This loop should run. Okay. So let's write some message here. Okay. The file is empty. And let me uh, introduce a color here. Okay. So that when we will uh, exit from the store uh, from the uh, while loop, then you will know that uh, we uh, we are out of the loop. So let us introduce uh, delay here, okay? And now you can see that we we don't know that when we will, okay, uh, when we will uh, write anything on the uh, notepad. I don't know what will be the iteration, okay? And let us write one more thing here so that when it will come out of the loop, you will know. Display one more one more uh, example. Uh, out of loop, and let me color it. let us use that color okay so this is uh, the proper use okay so let me let me run this you can see that this file is oh uh, this file is empty uh, i forgot to mention one thing uh, that this loop will continue to run every time means always 
this is because what if, uh, what uh, i have done wrong here is that this content file will always be um you know it will always be empty okay so what i have to do is uh, i have to put this thing inside this loop so that every time when it will run it will check whether this thing is empty or not okay now when we will run then it will run okay otherwise whatever changes we will made without uh, putting this thing here it will continue to run this is because once it will stick uh, stuck in this loop it will never go here so you whether you change it or not it will never uh, you know uh, it will never uh, check this thing this condition okay so let's start as you can see uh, that it is running and i don't know that when i will uh, put this on um, or when i will uh, fill this thing okay it will continue to run till the time this is empty so let's uh, exit from the loop and it will exit only when this thing is not empty so let me hmm. you can see that it has come out of the loop okay once i have um once i have uh, i have written something here uh, on the text file okay so once again let us uh, run this thing so that uh, it will more it will be more clear to you see just running okay and let's try it again or something and then let's save it it is out of the loop okay so uh, this is the best example to uh, uh, to show you or um, to show you the actual use of file loop this is because i am not sure here when to um, uh, when to stop means at which iteration i have to stop in for each or for uh, for loop i was sure because i was giving the exit condition here the exit condition is uh, that this file should be null so when it will uh, when uh, till the how much after how much iteration it will uh, not be empty i am not sure okay so here the conditions where you are not sure about the number of iterations uh, till the exit criteria is reached you use this while okay so this was just a very uh, uh, means uh, this was a small video on the while loop and uh, i think this is one of the best examples which uh i um thought uh, it uh, will help you um, in understanding uh, the concept okay so uh, i hope you have liked the video and if you really like the video then uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my channel okay give it a thumbs up and uh, press the bell icon and choose the all options so that whenever i will upload a new video you will get the notifications also tell me how was the video uh in the description box and something else you want to discuss okay so on the uh description box okay till my next video see you